<laughs> Sky. <laughs> Welcome to the Mayan underworld. Oh Let's go. God. All right, here we go. This is 100% it, the cemetery of the ancients, for sure. Oh, oh it is. Oh, oh. my God. Hidden beneath the wild jungle of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula lies a sunken labyrinth of caves known by the ancient Mayans as Chibalba, or the place of fear. Here, in what the Mayans believed was the underworld, they would conduct elaborate rituals for the gods, sometimes involving human sacrifice. Deep within this underground maze, there's a secret chamber known as the Cemetery of the Ancients, where it's said that both relics and spirits of the Maya remain. Much of Chibalba still remains uncharted, guarded by local Mayan descendants, permitting few outsiders to uncover its mysteries. With permission and guidance from these Mayan leaders, today I'm joining an expedition in search of this chamber with an explorer named Mike Corey, the real life Indiana Jones. We are in deep right now. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh. The crystal skull. Have you ever seen anything like this? Mike has never self-proclaimed this title, but I am giving it to him because he actually is like Indiana Jones in real life. On his YouTube channel, Fearless and Far, Mike has documented some of the wildest stuff I've ever seen on YouTube. I'm walking through the Congo River with a dead crocodile on my shoulder. Firing shots. We met up with Mike in Playa del Carmen. We've got something super special here. Something I've never even seen before. Something I don't think anyone's seen before, except for a few local Mayan guys, okay. if the weather holds up. But if yeah. it doesn't, it's all part of the adventure. Exactly. Then we hopped in a truck with our local guide and Mike's right-hand man, Arturo, and we were off. We just got our car searched by the police. Bienvenido a Mexico. <laughs> All right, Mike, where are we going right now? I'm lacing up my adventure boots because we're heading to a small town called Scatin, right? Scatin. 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 Scatin is in the, the middle of nowhere in the Yucatan Peninsula. There's villages here that they don't even speak English, they don't speak Spanish, they just speak Mayan, like the old days. So we talk about Mayans like they're a people of the past. Mayan culture is still very real. So we're meeting some Mayan guys and they're gonna take us to a particular cave where we've heard there's some really cool stuff to find. I've heard though that the caves that we're going to, like some people don't ever return. Actually, I know for a fact that people have died in these caves. Oh my God. Because the Mayans used to sacrifice people in these caves. Do you believe in spirits and ghosts and demons? I... I'm a biologist. I went to school for science. I like to think critically about things, but I've seen things that I can't always explain. The place where we're, where we're going is actually pretty deep in the jungle, like this cave. But even when you go to these kind of places that are really, really deep inside the jungle, it doesn't matter how deep they are. Most of the times, at least in this area, they already belong to the Mayans. So when we go to these places, we know that we are passing and we need to ask for permission. Sometimes we have to pay. How long is the hike into the jungle to the cave? Four kilometers. <gasps> Did you see that lightning? <laughs> it, it, it actually, it's in the area where we're going. We'll see if the, the rain lets up for us. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> so right now we are meeting up with Jesus and Pecho, who are friends of Arturo and Mike's, and they are our Mayan guides for this adventure. We absolutely could not do this without them. They know the way to the cave. They have family history there. We're gonna hit the road and try and get to the cave before dark because the sun's going down fast. Introducing our trusted Mayan guides for this adventure, Jesus and Percho. Percho actually grew up in the cave we are going to, but more on that later. This looks exactly like the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so this is the path we're taking, straight into the jungle. Before we begin this expedition, I'm gonna need to swap out this hat. As they said in Raiders of the Lost Ark, it's indie, bitch. Did they say that? <laughs> Brittany said it. 
<laughs> a pig? I would guess a pig. Pigs are so yeah. cute, and, cute and cuddly when they're uh, when you see them, but they're actually pretty ferocious. A lot of places, pigs are the most dangerous animal in the woods. It's like death. Yeah. What's that? The uh, one of the plants you have to watch out for: wild chaya, like little little needles that get stuck in your skin. Little piece of glass, basically. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> Guy, this is it. Yeah, 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 look. The cave. The gateway to the Mayan underworld. Welcome. Okay, let's go in. Before we get inside, some things to keep in mind here. There's a giant wasp nest hanging from the roof. See, so look at them all. <laughs> it's huge. Inside, there's bats, there's obviously sometimes snakes. But really the main thing is that we don't want to get lost. These caves are giant labyrinths where people can never find themselves again. Ready, Sky? Let's explore. Oh my God. Do you hear the bats? Yeah, it's getting <laughs> creepier by the second. You hear the squeaking? Do you know how bats see in the dark? They, uh, don't they make sound and it vibrates off the ceiling? Exactly, oh, there goes one, right? Same thing, look at this. Oh, oh, we hit the, oh. come here, there's still a few more. I don't oh. like bats. <laughs> look at this. Whoa, <gasps> that's definitely not a pig. I would guess a deer, quite a large one. Who knows the story? So, here's the plan. It's already getting dark. Uh, we don't want to set up camp when it's too dark. We're gonna sleep in this cave tonight. In the cave? In the cave. Did you see how much it was raining earlier today? Yeah. This will this will shelter us from the storm. Even the Mayans used to stay in caves when the typhoons, like the hurricanes would come through here, right? Somewhere here, there's Mayan carvings, petroglyphs that were carved by hand thousand years ago. Who no really knows? We'll find those two shortly, but let's, uh, let's set up camp, right? Oh man, I'm going into a dark cave in the middle of the night. Yeah, but it's always dark in a cave. Uh, that's true. So, <laughs> it just no, somehow, makes, <laughs> it somehow makes it creepier. Right now, our amazing guides are setting up camp behind us. We are actually going to be sleeping in these hammocks that they're tying up between these huge rock formations in the cave here. And we are so lucky that we have you know, our friends to help us set up this camp because I would not know how to properly rig up a hammock. Have you spent a night in the cave before? Uh, not a cave like this. Not a cave like this. Mm -mm. There has been wasps that have taken up, this is their home. <laughs> There's two nests over there at least and one back there. So uh, they've already stung four or five of our guys, right? So and the guys have fashioned a, uh, a wasp pole so when there's a bee's nest in your house, you gotta deal with it. Let's take care of these wasps. Do you wanna light it? Light the wasp? Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take the end of the stick. Okay. How fast can you run is the question. I can run pretty fast. All right. <laughs> and I don't wanna do this, but also we can't spend the night here if we don't. How long right do we hold, hold it, it for? Right there, lower, 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 lower. Ah! Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Sorry guys. Sorry waspies. Easy. Oopsies. Easy. I don't just travel the world burning wasp nests. <laughs> Percho, our, our Mayan guide here, used to live in this cave. That's why he's our cave expert. And he was explaining this is how they dealt with the wasp nests when they when they built them in their home. Can you still can you hear the wasps? <laughs> the wasps are still coming around. Yeah. They are angry at us. Look at the wasps. <gasps> Oh my god. Sky, give me a hug. No. <laughs> Should we flick them? Yeah, okay. You flick that one, I'll flick this one. Three, two, one. No, Sky! Ouch! Any more? Oh, right there. Sky, ah. get it, get it, get it, get it. Don't flick it at me, flick it away. Flick. Okay, let me wasp check you. I feel like they're definitely Turn out around. and about. They want to get Holy us. shit, there's a big one. Don't move. Where? Right there. Ah. Ah. No, there's nothing. There's nothing. Ah. 
are we looking for? There are special rock carvings here. So we'll be looking for shapes of faces. This way. Yeah, right here, look. Oh, oh, this is it. See? Petroglyphs. A petroglyph is a carved rock. This is imprinted in. So what does this mean? This, is, this was carved over a thousand years ago. So this is one particular Mayan god. Hey, Arturo! That's with my Mayan specialist. Did we lose him to the cave? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Here, tell me about this man. So this uh, image itself, it's called the Ahau. In the caves where you find this type of uh, image, the Ahau itself, it means that two things, that they were very sacred or that most likely they were being inhabited by Mayans in all times, you know? Right. Based on these carvings, does this give us any indication of what we'll find inside the cave? It means several things. The cave must be really big. There <clears> must be several one or several sources of water. And third of all, it must have had some kind of uh, um, spirit, you know, a spirit or spirits or a spiritual a spirit activity, let's say. And that's when they decided to put the glyph. It's like a stamp, you know? Do you believe that there are spirits in these caves? I do. I do. So every time, time to time that I have come over to these places, uh, there are strange things happening at night. In my experience, you know, I was born here, like in the area, in the region. So for, for myself, I do believe in spirits, and especially even more when it's related to caves. It has always been throughout history the actual uh, birthplace of the shamans. So shamans normally they get their training in caves. They're really special places. Super special. Especially these limestone caves that go on forever. They've got secrets. And no wonder the Mayans came here and offered sacrifices because when we go inside this cave, you'll, you'll, you'll see why. I wanted to learn more about this place from our Mayan guide, Percho, whose family actually lived in this very cave for several generations. But because Percho only speaks Mayan, we had Jesus translate from Mayan into Spanish and Arturo translated from Spanish into English. So we were able to have a conversation. What does this place mean to you? It's a family story. How many years did you live here? This is the place where I actually was born. He was born here, not hospital. So because he was born here, that's why this place is also very special for him because it's his birthday. And for them, it's really important because uh, this is uh, like the heritage that their ancestors are giving to them. His family, like his parents, live here. His grandparents live here and he doesn't know how long this kept on going into the past. And he says that there is a strong connection between his family and his ancestry. I would like to give you my gratitude because thanks to you of coming here, I'm also able to come back here again because I don't come here very often. And as I enter this place again, this made me to remember my childhood memories and that uh, he would like to give you, uh, tell you also that to enjoy and to look for the very beautiful water that is inside of this place because it's very, very holy and very sacred. It's very pure. We're very grateful for you welcoming us to somewhere that you call home. So thank you so much for, uh, you know, allowing us to enter and explore. Como se dice muchas gracias y mayan? Yumbotic. Achumbotic. Achumbotic? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Achumbotic. Mishmao, qué gusto. Our friend Percho just left. Uh, he had to leave, but tomorrow his father is coming to meet us for our expedition into the cave. Percho, when he lived here, he was very young. His father actually explored much more of these caves than he did. He's gonna get his father tonight to come meet us tomorrow morning. So at the crack of dawn, we'll head back in. Probably have to wade through some water. Probably go where no man or woman's gone in a very, very, very long time. Well, your life is crazy. This is what you do like all day, every day. I've been doing this for 12 years. <laughs> How I did got... you even get started? I was a kid who was curious and I always loved things that were misunderstood. Places, people, cultures, like a lot of things in this world we, we became fearful of without the right information. I mean, I have a YouTube channel called Fearless and Far, right? And people think that I am fearless, but the definition of fearless is not is not understood correctly. 
being fearless isn't a lack of fear. It's feeling the fear and doing it anyway. So what do you still have fear of? The dark can be scary, you know? Standing in front of a group can be scary. Talking to a camera can be scary. All these things are scary. It's just how much power do you give to fear? I definitely have some fear of going into that cave. <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyway. Feel the fear and do it anyway. Any final words for the Aleutius? Uh, Aleutius, please be nice to us as we sleep tonight. I don't think they speak English. Como se dice what I just said? Aleutius, we got a casan to Tito. Last time we did this, Arturo got attacked in the middle of the night. I screamed really strong in the middle of the night. <laughs> Unfortunately, the jungle soundtrack I was hoping for was a little more aggressive than what I was expecting. And on account of some unidentified animal noises, I barely slept. I literally just got stung like five times by wasps. One under my armpit, maybe two under my armpit, on my back. <gasps> Why did it have to be wasps? I hate wasps. Soon, Percho came back with his father, Gregorio, who had lived in this cave for 45 years and is the only living person who knows how to navigate its interior. Hopefully, he can help us find the cemetery of the ancients. What is it that we're looking for when we go in? So because they were uh, living here and they tried to go inside, they didn't have lamps like we have right now. So it was very limit the vision was very limited and they were not able to stay for very long inside or actually see very well. But he remembers that he found a lot of uh, beautiful formations and there were also some creatures in the water. We're basically the first group to explore other than with modern flashlights. Yeah. So going around. We could find a number of things. Probably. We're getting in that cave really soon here. <laughs> I'm feeling ready. So here is the main entrance to go to the unexplored area. We as outsiders, it is customary here to ask for permission to enter the cave because it is believed that there are several spirits living inside of the cave. Since very old times, there has been always like a, some kind of offering given before or we say a prayer so we don't find any blockage or any trouble during our expedition. <laughs> Uh, I found a snake. <gasps> Going deeper. Is that dangerous? <clears throat> I don't know what species it is by that one little tail. We can't tell. Pretty badass, right? This is the beginning, Sky. <laughs> We're not even deep yet. This is where all the rainwater ends up in places like this. These are cenotes or, or underwater, underground cave systems. The water is safe to drink. I would recommend filling up your water bottles if you can. Look how clear it is. It's so clear. <sighs> Straight from the underworld, baby. How are you sure that it's safe drinking water? This water, how it gets here, is by dripping through this limestone, the world's best filter system, essentially. So the rain from the sky filters through the rock, through the million little pores, deposits some of the minerals, making these really interesting forms, and then from there drops into the, into the water below. We, uh, right now we've got a bit of a discussion happening because uh, I think we're, we're double checking we know the right way to go. <laughs> because no one's been here in a very long time. We found a snake too, bro. Wow, really? Yeah, black and orange. Do you know what it is? Coral snake. Coral, oh, coral snake? F off, really? The snake that we saw upon confirmation was a coral snake. Coral snakes have a neurotoxin, which is the worst kind of venom. Basically, you have snakes that bite you like a rattlesnake and it'll melt the, your skin. It sucks, but it's not gonna kill you, whereas something like that, it stops your heart. <laughs> This is gonna get more serious. It's been a bit fun and game so far, but this is where we have to watch a few things. Number one, not to crack our skull on these very sharp cave formations. 
Number two, we're going to be pressing our body through a crack that's about the size of our body. We're going to stay safe, just be aware, and hopefully no snakes pop out of more holes, right? Okay. Yeah, this is narrow. We're literally going to army crawl. So here's the deal. Um, water levels have been unpredictable and we're trying to find the way to the third passage. There's a very small uh, narrow tunnel here that's even a bit more narrow than this, but it's partially collapsed and Jesus was in there and he saw Fertilance. So Fertilance is the most dangerous snake down here. It's uh, hemotoxic, it basically clots your blood and you can easily lose a limb or something if it bites you. So if there's a snake to worry about, it's that, that snake. They found a live one? Yeah. There's always the option of clearing the snake. I don't think we can press our bodies through, through the collapsed tunnel. Just imagine crawling through this, seeing a snake face. It's not what you want. <laughs> There's no jumping out of the way. Look, look. This would have been, this is quite big. I would guess this is from the Ferdelans. Touch it, it's very moist oh, still. I don't want to touch it. Oh, come on, it's not gonna hurt you. Oh. It's uh, quite moist, right? So it's fresh. It would be pretty fresh, yeah. Like, we need to get out of here. Uh, now look, you can make this no. into a nice little bracelet. <laughs> we you need can make to get a belt. out of here. We are too close for comfort right now. They're aggressive and they will they will bite. It's probably lurking around right here. Oh, for sure it is, literally. Get, we why just... are we here then? <laughs> How do you feel in here? Feel I'm terrified. Really? I'm terrified because of this damn snake that is freshly shed its skin right here. Yeah. And we are just hanging out in its home. Or you could see it as a, a really good indication that this rock is great for exfoliation. And you could just rub, you know, you can do like the jungle, the, the, the cave therapy, get all that dead skin off. <laughs> exactly try. what I need right now, a spa treatment in a cave. <laughs> right now we are trying to find the way. Obviously the entrance was down there. Yeah, underwater. But it's now it's underwater. I mean, it's not it's not here, we know that. I need to figure it out because if it's like that, we'll have to go underwater to get to their chamber. Mm -hmm. So I need to go and check. They're not snakes in the water, right? No. Mm -hmm. We have one more option for here. This is where they're our last resort, right? There's no other options? No, I don't think so. There was a big hurricane here. Normally the water level isn't this high. So what we think either happened is that during the storm, it collapsed the other area where the snake is now and we can't get through there, the boulders are too big or it's been flooded. What I feel confident doing is doing a small little free dive. Let's just see if there's a little bit of a dip and then it might rise up into another chamber. That continues but it's really, really narrow. I'm gonna take off my pants though because I don't want them to get caught on a slide type. back uh, about six feet and then the, the the sediment piles up and blocks the way down. Our mind friends were saying they know another entrance to this cave. So this, this is a massive system that hasn't been explored, but there's another entrance that's maybe, what, 20 minutes drive yeah, by car? Down, yeah. yeah. The adventure is evolving. So oh. we're about 12 miles. My. Are you exhausted already? We're in another cave. <laughs> we're about 12 miles from the previous location. Um, our mind comes up ahead. They've already found something. It doesn't end. Okay, let's go. Use the rope to help pull yourself across. So we're going barefoot the rest of the way. Yeah, but you gotta get in the water first. Okay, okay. Hopefully I don't get a yeast infection. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god, whoa. It's not very common to find paintings like this. So you can see that it has a blue color around it and the Mayans, they were using uh, this purple pigment called chalk in Mayan, which comes from a plant from the actual fermentation of the leaves. What is very special about this blue, is it stays chemically stable. So this uh, actual hand painting could have been here for like thousands of years inside here. So this means also this is a very important part of the cave. This is the, our first like sign, like, we are right. on the right way. Look at these wow. massive cave formations, right? Oh. A giant stone waterfall. Right. The cathedral, right? This is insane. Nature this is makes crazy. this, rain makes this. But imagine being the Mayans, right? Coming in here, not understanding anything about geology, yeah. 
how the world works. We think it's a place of gods, right? Creepier and creepier, the deeper we go. Right now, they're trying to figure out. Oh, sky! Oh, God, what? This is 100% it. The cemetery of the ancients, for sure. Oh! My God! What? Oh, it is completely filled with bones. Like if you stay anywhere, you won't break the bones. It's no, no. completely all over. It's full of bones. So it's a full body, yeah. It's yeah, a full body. Yeah, yeah, you see? It's a full body. I'm just trying to count how many femurs there are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's. That one is actually really, really big, man. It's Maybe it's as big, big as yours or bigger. This one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it. huge. So would Mayans have bones that big? No, they were really small. So this so is the, weird. What is this? What's with the size of the bone then? I'm just thinking myself the same question. Like, could that be animal bones? No. It's no. human bones. It's actually cemetery. All of this is full of bones. It's just that it's being washed away by the mud. Yeah, they're all of yeah, it's all just of pure it's like modern pure bones. But modern bones, yeah. Oh, you can see teeth. See, look. Right? <gasps> yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's a jaw. Right there, right there. Yeah, there's a, a, a top of the skull. It's disturbing to see piles of human bones in yeah. a cave. Uh -huh. Why is it disturbing? Just the thought of what was going on here. What do you think happened here? What's your first impression? I mean, the stories say that there were human sacrifices in these caves, right? They're, obviously, we're seeing it right now. It's crazy to think about. And well, yeah. it makes me feel like... <laughs> so we don't exactly know what this is. Uh, it could be an ancient cemetery where they would have brought in maybe already deceased bodies, placed them there. We can see at least the remains of, I would say, 10 humans, maybe eight. This mud's here because the water washes through and it all gets flushed a bit like a toilet, so there would have been more there. Because they were so long ago, where, would there be any remnants of bones left? Yeah, it would only be about a thousand years ago. Okay. Because the fall of the Mayan Empire was about 900 AD, right? Yeah. So, I mean, we, well, the fall of the Mayan Empire, we're surrounded by Mayans, you know? <laughs> like, right. we, we talk about Mayans like they're, they're people of the past, but we're, we're with Mayans, they're speaking Mayan, the same Mayan that the people who did this would have spoken. Yeah. How amazing is that, right? And so, our, for our friends around us, I don't think they see this as a creepy place, right? For us, we're growing up in the Western world where we just take death, we put it in the ground and we never see it again, it's very shocking. Coming back and being able to see your ancestors and honor them, right? For us, we're not from this land, but for the boys behind us, their ancestors fought and conquered and died and were diseased. And uh, to be here today, right? Even now, they're, they're just very excited to be here, right? Because these are the, the, the people that put them here. I mean, it goes back to just even our prayer coming in, like honoring the ancestors that walked these caves and like we're seeing remnants of them in the physical form right in front of us but we all turn to that we all go back to the earth we're in the mother earth right now deep in her and we all return to her exactly we were built from it and we will return to it i've never seen anything like this like this is this is i'll never forget this this yeah. moment I, this is your everyday life this is just a normal day for you i see human bones about once a month <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even joking oh. What do you think? Your life is crazy, man. <laughs> and this is just a taste. It's fun though, right? So fun. Never been this dirty in my life. <laughs> no, there's no right. broken bones. All we got is mud and some good stories. Maybe some, uh, some wasp bites. Yeah. I've got one question for you though. Okay. Can I keep the hat? The hat is yours, indeed. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. That's right. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. We did it! Hell yeah, we, we crushed do. that. What do you want to leave everyone with? Make your own adventures. You don't have to do the pamphlet. You can create your own. Burn the pamphlet. Throw it away. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Sky Life and to Fearless and Far if you want to see more of Mike's crazy adventures. Thank you so much for watching and the adventure continues. Bye.